In today's video, we are going to be comparing cheap versus expensive technology. Starting at Best Buy where everything is really expensive and mostly good quality. Then we're gonna stop at Five Below where everything is crazy cheap. And then we're gonna come home and compare the two. Okay guys, let's get shopping. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. This is so cool. I was over here touching the phone, it's not even real. <laughs> Wait, I was like, it's so stupid. You're stupid. So cool. <gasps> Look at the IMAX. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a That was really <laughs> some other day. Look at the iPad mini. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These sound so cool. Okay. I'm telling you, they're <laughs> awesome. It's like you're in a whole nother world. We have some $80 Sony headphones. We have some $8 Five Below headphones. Let's go ahead and try out the cheap ones first. These are really cute because they are pink. Gosh, this is such a cute case. Oh my gosh, I really like this. Wow, wow, not bad, not bad at all. For $8, are you kidding me? Wireless headphones for $8, are you, are you serious? Then over here we have the Sony ones. Whoa, that boxing was weird. So here are the Sony headphones. Comes with instructions on the box, which is pretty helpful. And inside are the, wow. Okay, so the packaging is obviously way better. We have some teal headphones, and then we have some teal little earbuds. Super cool, like a different size. And then we also have the charger. And at the bottom we have instructions. So far right now, I don't really have an opinion. Both of them were really good. And let's take a look at the Sony headphones. Ooh, wow. So this case is like really cool because it's like clear on the top. Wow, these are really, really nice. I have to say though, not too much different from the Five Below ones. Like they're both really light and they're both like plastic. The only thing I'd say is that the Sony ones are a little bit more like heavy compared to the Five Below ones. Off of look, like they both look like I could find them at Five Below. I don't really like the lights on the Five Below ones, but honestly, they, they're they both pretty much the same thing. I am a little bit more on the Sony side just cause I like this packaging a little bit more. But you know what, let's not go based on packaging. Let's go based on sound. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheap ones in. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, okay? First things first, they like barely, they don't fit my ears. They're like kind of falling out a little bit. They don't fit that well. Okay, not the most comfortable. Okay, so they're connected right now and I'm gonna go ahead and play some music. All right, let's listen to some songs. Okay, so honestly, not too bad. Uh, they sound really good. I can listen to my music. They don't sound like cracky or anything, which is really awesome for $8. These are insane. However, I would say that they don't fit the best in my ear. They kind of fall out, but they do have interchangeable earbuds. I could do a smaller size. So far, these get a nine out of 10 because they work really well. Let's go ahead and try the Sony ones. Okay, so these also don't fit that well. Like I feel like they're coming out of my ear a little bit. Okay, so these are like even worse than the other ones. Like I feel like they're just gonna fall right out. Like, wait, these actually look like exactly like them. What the heck? They look like, <laughs> they look like identical. That is so crazy. It's just one's pink and one's blue. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so now they both don't fit that well and they both look exactly the same. So now the real test is just gonna be once I try these on, do they sound way better? I'm putting these on right, they don't freaking fit. These keep falling out. Okay, no. <laughs> They sound almost exactly the same. The Sony ones are a little bit more clear, like they sound more clear than these. They sound a little bit cloudy, but dude, the price difference between them, 
The cheap ones definitely win because they work good and they were $8. These on the other hand were $80. And the fact that they sound pretty similar and look almost the same, I have to say I'm gonna give it to the cheap side because I'd rather spend $8 and spend $80 on something that sounds almost the same. Case closed. Okay, next item. Next thing we're comparing is a $5 neon strip versus a $100 neon strip. Okay, here we have the little twinkle set. Wow, this is insane. What the heck? This one was $100, so it better be good. There's the strip. What the heck is this, a Lego set? Here is the Twilight. So here is this one. This one is heavy duty. Obviously it's gonna be insane because it was $100. So let's go ahead and see what the $5 one looks like. Come on, five below, Dis don't disappoint me. Okay, here is the $5 lead strip. <laughs> That's so funny, that is too funny. Okay, so we have the two little things here. Okay, we're gonna try the cheap one out first because it doesn't need an app. Here's our $5 LED strip. It's fairly short, but you know what? I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so here is the LED strip. Okay, not too shabby. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, it only does one color, so that's the only downside. You know what? It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Look, you can make a circle. Or you could make a ball. Or you could even make a pizza. So obviously this one's not that great, but it's, I mean, it was $5, it was $5. What can you expect? I mean, I feel like this will look pretty cool on the wall. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little short, but I mean, haters will say that this is not cool. I think it's cool. Let's go ahead and test out our $100 LED strip that is literally gonna break your bank. Break your bank. Here it is, let's go ahead and, whoa, shoot. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, five below, you got some competition, man. You got some. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, it's a rainbow. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's click it again. Okay, five below can't compete with this. Five below can't compete with this right now. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. I don't know how well it's doing it justice, but it's so bright. Oh my gosh, this looks so sad compared to this one. <laughs> it looks so sad compared to the $100 one. It's like bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Oh, poor Five Below. Okay, in Five Below's defense, this one was like $5, this is a lot of money. But I, I honestly believe that you get what you pay for. And if you're gonna get an LED strip, you have to go bigger or go home. That's, that's kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the device is not found? Oh my God, these lights are starting to get me so upset. Honestly, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the five below. Oh my gosh, this thing is busted, busted. Okay, device not found. Screw you, screw these stupid lights, I'm done. Obviously, the twinkly lights are dope and awesome and I wish I could show you guys the full extent to them, but they are not connecting and they wanna be stupid, so. These, my vote goes to the cheap ones, I'm sorry, but five below, I don't care how cool these stupid lights are, they won't connect, so I'm gonna vote for Team Cheap because these are getting me angry. The next thing we're going to be trying out is a wireless charger. $5 versus $30. First up is the cheap charger. Ooh, I kind of really like the way that one looks. I love the clear design of it. I feel like it looks super modern and cool. Now time for the expensive charger. Wow. Okay, so this one also is like a little charging pad. And I have to say, this one actually looks cheaper than the cheap one. I would honestly think that this is the expensive one and this is the cheap one. So first things off the back is the expensive one does come with the charger and the cheap one doesn't. So that's the first thing. But let's go ahead and plug it in and try them out. First, let's try the expensive one. Hello? Okay, it charges. So the expensive one obviously charges really well. Very cool, of course, it's gonna work. Now let's go ahead and try the cheap one. 
also charges. So obviously they both work. However, the expensive one is gonna charge it faster. So it's really, really hard to compare these. Off of looks, the cheap one wins for me. But based off of efficiency, this one was $5, this one was $30. I'm gonna have to say and give this point to Team Expensive just because I'd prefer to have something that's more expensive that will charge my phone faster. You guys let me know in the comments down below, which one would you choose? Would you rather spend $5 or $30? Five below, we bought these hexagon lights that were $5 each, so $10 for the pack. Then over at Best Buy, we spent $100 on this nano leaf color thingamabobber. Huge difference, so let's test them out and see which one's better. So starting with the cheap, these all need three batteries each, so starting off, not too good. That's a lot of batteries, man. Wow, so they light up pretty cool. Okay, so these are what the squares look like that we got from Five Below. And these, can I say that these are awesome? They actually work with when you touch them, and you can have them all the same color, or you can change them up. That is actually so cool. I have no complaints about these other than they take a lot of batteries. They're pretty bright too. Actually, these are super cool. I really like them, but let's go ahead and test out the $100 one from Best Buy. Personally, see these everywhere and they are so cool. Oh my gosh, even the box is awesome. These are so cool. They're so thin. They're way thinner than the cheap ones. Oh shoot, it comes with a lot. Oh my gosh. This comes with a lot of panels. So far, the expensive one's not looking too bad because it comes with a lot of these little panels. I bought the expansion pack, ugh. Sarah did not actually buy the lights. What she did buy was an extension to the original lights, which look like this. They would have been super cool. Sadly, when we went back to try and buy them again, they were out of stock. So next product. And the last cheap versus expensive item we're gonna try is iPhone cases. The Five Below iPhone case was $5. Well, this one was $40 for an iPhone case. That's right, guys, that's actually insane. I'm gonna open the expensive one first because I need to see what the hype is about. What the heck did I spend $40 on? So Supposedly this is like super duper drop proof, so we'll see that route. This boy is a hunk of metal. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. That's the scary part. So the otter box is on. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This one is a three times tested military protection. So obviously it can stand some pretty tough drops, which I do tend to need. But for $40, I feel like you could get one for like 10 bucks on Amazon, like very, very similar. But I mean, it's a nice case, I can't lie to you, but $40. So let's go ahead and try out our five below $5 case. So here is our cheap iPhone case, and obviously this thing is, this thing is thin as freak. It's actually, it actually feels kind of like paper thin. Oh my God, it doesn't even fit. <laughs> It doesn't even fit right. Like the square is a little bit too big. Oops, that's kind of embarrassing. Look at the iPad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this is really tough because I feel like the $40 case is really, really way better quality than the really thin $5 case. But I can't justify spending 40 bucks for an iPhone case. I think I'm gonna have to call this one a tie. Just because this one is, no, you know what, screw that. I'm going team cheap. Just because this one, it does not take $40 to make this. Obviously, it's way overpriced, and you could probably get one on Amazon for like $10. That's just as protective. This case is not the best, but I know you can find some cheaper cases out there, for sure. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. Cheap versus expensive tech. Let me know in the comments down below which team you guys are on. I'm a little bit tied. I think you definitely get what you paid for on this side, but this side, it put up a good fight. It put up a good fight. Follow me on Instagram right here, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!